Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to Little Richard Games. We're playing Game Dev Tycoon. This is episode 4. Let's get into it. When we left off in episode 3 I was trying not to go bankrupt as you can see I've almost so I believe a problem has arisen. Let me just read this first. I don't have enough for the game convention, which is a shame now. What I need to do is either fire fire her or send on vacation. Let's do that. Seeing as I'm down 43k, I suppose it couldn't hurt to make a new game. Let's, let's just go straight into it and develop a new game. Let's make a cyberpunk action for for the Master V on the Game Engine Ultimate and we'll call it um, Robo Smash. going with this okay I, I'm done a lot of money so um, this game has to do very good otherwise I'm going to go completely and utterly bankrupt I am I honestly have to um, fire this employee which is a shame because I just got her, so. But I can't afford to have her around anymore, I'm losing money too fast. Uh, Alright. I am praying that this game does good. Oh, I have sequels available now, which is, which is good, and I'm losing more and more and more and more and more money. That's a problem. So, well design needs to go up, graphics needs to go up, sound can stay where it is. So, what's, what's this? No! Bankruptcy! No, I hate you! restart a level. Guys, I'm not going to end this episode here. Oh, okay, that's good now. Um, yes, shut up. I know. Okay, we loaded back to when we first got into our new office, which is good. Let's develop a, um, no, sorry. Research. Not train. Research. What am I clicking on? There. Research for a new topic. Uh, cyberpunk and better AI. Oh wait, I can only research one of them. Right, let's go better AI. Okay. The previous game we had Pokemon still ra raking in money. Which is good. Alright, I just researched better AI. Now we can research... Ooh, let's research marketing. So we can get some marketing done. Okay. transfer this money uh, 
that made a lot of money that game it's it's awesome okay so let's research ah screw it let's make a new game brand new game oh a dungeon game let's make a dungeon dungeon RPG for let's make another gambling game for that awesome game engine ultimate game and dungeon crawler on 2d graphics v2 Storing quests, gameplay, up engine, up, save game. Dungeon RPG, artificial intelligence, keep that where it is, level design, dialogues, drop that down and put dialogues up a little bit right there we go Finished it with one bug. Damn. Oh, I leveled up a bunch of stuff. That's good. Okay, we need to get those 3D graphics again. Because we didn't manage to get them later. Let's see if people liked it. Yes! It got a 9. A 10. Another 10. And another 10! And ladies and gentlemen, this is our new hit, beating Pokemon, Pokemon, sorry. I'm very happy with that result. And this should gain us a lot of shit. And let's get those 3D graphics. Okay. Well, I still have 2.7 million now, which is good. Okay, very cool. People, people liked Dungeon Crawler, which was nice. Can I create a new custom engine? Yes, I can. I want only 3D graphics. Um all of these and we call it the flow engine 1.0 so we can leave the flow engine 2.0 later Okay, we're thriving now without those two extra employees. I'll wait till I get more money before I start to hire new people. Here we go, I completed the engine. Alright, cool. Now I can train myself for... Take this one. Right. I 
need for him to hurry up and finish this so I can make a um a new game. Although I need a new topic first. I'm getting bored of the topics I have. New topic. Um, cyberpunk. Which is the one I had before. Topic again. Let's take this one. I'm just trying to unlock these because they're in the way of more better topics. I need those new newer topics because the ones I have I'm not happy with. Now what do we have to choose from? Aliens, there we go. I'm going to make an Aliens game now. And this will be my first 3D game. Uh, let's make it a mature game. And we're going to call it... Kill Them Bastards. I could also call it Get Away From Her You Bitch, but... Let's just stick with this for now. Let's take, let's take the new, the new, um, machine. Let's just, let's just go all out on this. Let's put, let's literally put so much money into this. Well, not so much money, but as much as we possibly can into this game. So, it's good. Let's give the interview for this. Artificial intelligence needs to go there. Um, dialogues, not so much. Level design, not so much. Mostly just the artificial intelligence. Uh, we already saw this. Um, okay, we have the six hype again. Gaining hype for killed them bastards. Okay. Let's go mono sound. There we go. Bugs. We need to get rid of the bugs. There we go. Awesome. Let's wait for our reviews. Oh no. That's bad. This is bad. This is bad. Five, 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 five. It was an average game. Oh well. I took a risk. And I'm glad I did. I did put a lot of money into developing that game. So, no regrets. Super Test has been released. Let's trade myself. Okay, so this is the a book about research or something. Hang on guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, sorry for the random jump cut, I just had to take care of something. Okay, so we were 
just researching a book and we're now getting information on the play system or something and I'm going to research um, martial arts that can be a fun topic to do We have another de decryption. Hmm. No, let's not do that. Did I research that topic yet? I think I did. Now I need to research the joystick. And... Develop a new mature game. Martial arts. Action. Go with the super test on my awesome engine. I'm going to call it Mortal Combat. Is that how the actual game is spelled? Because I don't want to be. I think it is with a K, isn't it? Yeah. So let's spell it with a C with two T's. And we'll make our own version of Mortal Combat with the 2D graphics version 1. Or whatever. Starring quests can go low. We don't need a story. We don't need save game. But the engine and gameplay needs to be right up there with starring quests. It's like extremely low. There we go. Level design, dialogue, artificial intelligence. There we go. Making a better game. Hopefully. Um, even them out a little bit. Let's hope this game does well because we're still losing money. We still have a decent amount, but we're losing money nonetheless release game let's see the reviews alright pretty high numbers there We've got an 8 we got a 7 We've got a 6 and a 7 okay they're above 5 which is I'm happy with that I am happy with that. Um, might have to go find contract work and do the spreadsheet software. I can get this done. Done. Sixteen thousand dollars coming my way. Let's go more. This one is easier than the last one. I should get this done in time. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. But, come on! Are you serious? The dude just... You just stopped typing, mate! You can't do that! Not when we got shit to take care of. Can't just stop typing. Ugh. Let's... Let's 
Let's get something else. No, we don't need that for now. Let's develop a new game. Let's make a young game for for the little kids. And make it fantasy adventure. We'll call it Pixie Friends for the gameling on my awesome engine. And we'll we'll go for 3D graphics on on this one. Let's take the gamepad out and linear snarket nah, linear story story quests gameplay engine very good. Keep them where they are. Gradually losing money. Strategy games are popular at the moment. Oh right, I haven't made a strategy game in a while. We don't need that. Um, here we go. Design. There we go. Let's lose the bugs, shall we? Ah, G3, of course. And guys, we've got to do another jump cut. Okay, I'm back. Wow, that was terrible. Hmm. Apparently, people don't like little kitty games about pixies and friends and fantasy. RPGs. Well, time to make a strategy game for everyone. Pirate strategy game for the um, Super Test. No, not the Super Test. Yeah, let's go with the super test. Wait. Nope. I'm gonna go with the Vena Oasis. And we'll call it... Pillage. Pillage the Islanders. <laughs> let's just call Pillage the Islander. With 3D graphics. Yeah, I'll put a gamepad in there. Seeing as strategy games are popular at the moment, I'm going to guess that um, this is going to be a pretty good game. People should like this strategy game. I'm curious as to why I'm not getting much hype anymore, and it was just that one, probably just to show off the hype mechanic, but. They said it happens at random times, so I guess I can't expect it to happen on every developed game. Ooh, game convention. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, let's take a. Medium boost. 500k. Okay, we didn't gain much 
experience, but we leveled up, which is which is great. Aha! Very nice. So we can get character progression and day and night cycle. This is gonna be low. Yep. I saw that. Damn it. I'm having a array of shit games recently. Where's the marketing thing? Ah. Right, the game convention. What is this? Ah, people are showing up. Really? That's the game? They're the games that are being shown? Pixie Friends and Pillars the Islander? Why don't they show Pokemon and... What was their other hit? Something? Okay. So how do I do marketing? Is it on the the board or something? I saw marketing there somewhere. So we have we have character progression, day night cycles and open world. Sequels. Aha. Let's research a sequel. To my hit game, which was Dungeon Crawler, was a hit. Yeah, let's make Dungeon Crawler Two and make it even better and awesomely with character progression. That's what I'll do. I'll get character progression. Research character progression, which cost 120k. Shit. Okay. Our sequels, sequels, sequels. Develop sequel to Dungeon Crawler. And we call it Dungeon Crawler 2, obviously. And was that uh, everyone mature or young game? I think it was that. And what? I'm um, sorry, what system was that on? Aha! The game link. Right. So. Let's make it on the same, um, same thing. Um, I think we had 3D graphics on that one. I think. Aha! The play system! That is, that is so epic. Yay! I know what I'm going to do for that play system. I know what I'm doing for the play system. And it was going to be epic, but we'll do that in a later episode because I don't have enough time for this one. We have hype on this because it's a sequel. I understand that. Which is good. We only have one hype, but that's okay. As long as we have hype. There we go, we have two. In the pink box. We go. Hmm. Let's debug that shit. Come on. Three, two, one, zero. New record.
artificial intelligence companions. Awesome. We got us a nine. A nine. A nine. And a nine. All great results. It did not top its predecessor, but it is still a great game of its own. Which is impressive. Yes. Rank 11. Look at that, people. Rank 11 on the charts. <laughs> Only game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas could be better. Challenge accepted. Let's see if I can manage to make a game like that. But as soon as this uh, finishes selling, I'm going to end this episode so we can get on to the next one later. We have a new proposition and I'm most likely going to decline this one. I... I don't want any more of your sabotage or... Or, um... Corruption in my business. Thank you very much, Agent Blowfish. Okay, it seems the game's, um, steadying out now. There we go, it just got off the market. So, thank you very much, ladies and gents, for watching the latest installment of Game Dev Di Tycoon Little Richard Games. Um, we got this guy typing away at his desk, like usual, and I'll see you all in the next episode where we will hopefully bust out the player system and make some games on that. Okay, my name is BeanJ21, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.